Here's a look at our tropical overview right now. We do have a 90% chance of development into the Gulf of Mexico, the eastern Gulf of Mexico. This system is currently not named, but it is being investigated. It will likely get a name later on today. So tropical wave invest 97 L that's going to be what we are watching there in the Gulf of Mexico. We also have a high chance of development in the Atlantic. This system has a 70% chance of development as it moves off the coast of Africa now, uh, but that's that's not our concern as of this point. We're watching tropical wave and best 97 L right now. Here are some of those currents. It has winds at 30 miles per hour, so it's not at that tropical storm strength yet. Gust 40 miles per hour. It is moving north at five miles per hour, so slowly moving north, but we actually have an area of low pressure now, so the forecast modeling has improved tremendously from the last time we were talking myself and you uh, on Friday. So watch what happens with this forecast data. We have the low. You can see it. You can see convection associated with the low there into the Caribbean. And now all of this data is pretty much in agreement that this system is going to move north uh, through the eastern half of the Atlant or the Gulf of Mexico. And what's going to happen is we get a low that sets up over Texas or really Oklahoma, Arkansas more so. And we get high pressure that sets up over the Atlantic the east coast of the Atlantic. This is going to create southerly winds in between this area that takes the system north toward Florida, unfortunately, and it does look like it is going to strengthen in the Gulf of Mexico with those warm Gulf of Mexico waters. Now that energy may be wrapped around this area of low pressure could provide some rain for some of those uh, kind of uh, southern plain states such as Oklahoma and even into Texas. I don't think that moisture is going to make it down to us. We are in the much drier section of air associated with this system. So what you see happening is a cold front that's going to dig south and then we get another area of high pressure pressure that sets up over Mexico that brings northerly air into Texas uh, and into South Texas. That is our pattern that we are heading into that's going to drop our air, not our air temperature, but our dew point. And when our dew point falls, look at this heat index difference. We're talking 104 for your feels like temperature on Wednesday, 92 for your feels like temperature on Thursday. And that's why I keep hyping up this weekend forecast, right? Because we're still going to have lower humidity, but we'd still have a chance of rain Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So we're seeing a few of those spotty showers right now toward Baffin Bay. And your hour by hour forecast for today, we've got temperatures that are still hot. It's 92 degrees by 1 p.m. Chance for some spotty showers, mostly along the coastline through the morning. That shifts inland into the afternoon. We have a 30% chance of rain on your Tuesday, so a little bit of an improved opportunity for some of those spotty storms may keep our temperatures just a tad cooler. But overall, you're not really going to notice that front when you're looking at high temperatures, but low temperatures are going to fall and your heat index value is going to fall. Barbie John Thomas.